it's a privilege to be with you here today and share with you an update about Aquasys and the Zengel stent. I think uh, I was at the very first OIS and congratulations to uh, Bill and Emmett and everybody else for just a tremendous growth, a great, great meeting. So as they said in Smoking the Bandit, we've got a long way to go and a short time to get there. I did raise my hand on the five minute uh, being too short. So I'll go about 20 minutes if that's okay. That's a joke. Um, so a little bit about uh, Zen. Zen is strong enough for severe disease, but it is safe enough for mild disease. And it's based upon using the proven gold standard subconjunctival mechanism of action. We simply reinvented the procedure such that we can maintain the efficacy, but decrease post-op complications and post-op management. The stent itself is made out of gelatin. It's six millimeters long. It's about the width of a human hair. And through physics itself, it controls flow and prevents hypotony through this permanent gelatin stent without the need for valves or sutures. We're able to obtain this strong efficacy in a safe, minimally invasive, standardized procedure that is ab interno. There is no tissue dissection, no sutures. The gelatin material itself is soft and tissue friendly, so it minimizes the complications traditionally seen with polymers. And a gonial lens is not required to perform the procedure. Zen is the only MIGS approach that bypasses all of the potential outflow obstructions in a glaucom glaucomatous eye. So there is not a diagnosis or a diagnostic needed to figure out which part of the trabecular meshwork may be obstructed. Is it the collector channel? Is it the aqueous vein? Find an aqueous vein, place a stent into it. Each and every time that you place a Zen into an eye, it bypasses all of the potential outflow obstructions and introduces a new patent outflow pathway each and every time for each patient. One stent is enough to get the desired efficacy, which I'll share with you in a moment. And surgeons can confirm in the operating room before they close that there is flow uh, and that patency has been achieved. We get similar efficacy whether the procedure is done with or without cataract surgery, and it creates a non-dissected ab interno bleb or outflow, which I'll also share with you. It's a different bleb morphology than traditional subconjunctival procedures. There's sound here. Um, the Zen gel thank stent you. creates a patent Here's an animation. through the sclera, allowing aqueous humor to flow from the anterior chamber into the subconjunctival space. A sub two millimeter clear cornea main incision is recommended for the procedure. The injector enters the incision and travels across the eye to the superior nasal quadrant where the stent will be placed. Due to the ab interno approach, the gel stent is placed properly away from the iris and endothelium. The needle is inserted through the trabecular meshwork, creating a scleral tunnel to the subconjunctival space. Once the needle exits the sclera, the location is verified or adjusted as needed. The injector is further advanced until the full bevel of the needle is visible. The needle is then rotated towards 12 o'clock. This rotation helps avoid the soft stent from curling. The gel stent is delivered by actuating the slider on the one-handed injector while the other hand maintains gentle fixation on the eye. The sleeve provides longitudinal placement control during the deployment. The gel stent is delivered into the non-dissected tenon space, creating a connection from the anterior chamber to the subconjunctival space. Its lumen is designed to regulate the outflow and avoid hypotony. The aqueous humor will begin to flow immediately, creating an ab internal bleb which over time becomes a low-lying drainage area. And now uh, moving on, Eric showed this slide of a traditional gold standard procedure. Those of us uh, with glaucoma, this is what we're all heading towards uh, in today's day. And on the right, as you saw, is the Zen procedure in real time through a clear corneal incision. The eye is, uh, the pupil is dilated because this is going to be a cataract surgery after implantation. I won't make you watch the entire video, but just look at the OCT images beneath each procedure. It's very important to note that bleb morphology is different between the two because the procedures are different. The Zen does not dissect all of the ocular tissue. It's placed into the normal anatomy and physiology of the eye, yet we get the efficacy that you see with the procedure on the left with the elegant procedure on the right. And why do we do this? We do this because 
We treat glaucoma patients to lower their IOP to protect their vision. It's about efficacy. And here's a, a demonstration of 852 patients. This is first in man, all of our patients, all the way back. And going out to three years, you might not be able to see that, but we've reduced pressure from on average 21.8 on 2.6 medications to 13.2 on 0.7 medications out to three years, which is a 40% reduction from best medicated. This is our Zen 45, our latest generation technology, which is what we are commercializing internationally. Similar pre-op and at one year to two years, we're in the 11 to 12 millimeter of mercury range, and again, a 40% reduction from best medicated. And lastly, having a look, I mentioned that we get similar efficacy with or without cataract surgery. The blue is combination cataract, the red is solo, and you can see they're both at 13 at a year, and both are at essentially a 40% reduction from best medicated uh, in the real world world. So we have completed our IDE study in the uh, United States. We anticipate being in the market late next year as the next product in MIGS. We have a commercial launch underway right now internationally and that's going exceedingly well and we are adding new markets on a continuous basis. And it's important to note that overseas our product is used in mild, moderate, and severe disease, and the ratio is about 50% with cataract surgery, 50% as standalone. So our patients can be treated as a standalone. It not, does not require a glaucoma or a, a cataract to be treated. And most importantly, what do the customers that use the product think? We run the company on the high performance management system, so we survey our customers on a quarterly basis. And after one year of use, what you notice, uh, and 90% is considered world class, 88% of the customers agree or strongly agree that Zen is safe, 91% that it's effective, and most importantly, 88% of them would willingly recommend it to their peers. So we're very excited about partnering with the surgeons around the world to significantly improve the glaucoma treatment paradigm. Thank you.